so welcome back to our next tutorial in which we'll be discussing the next operation. Okay, so for this, now we can pick the 2D contour path. This is exactly what we want it to do. Let's go to our geometry and we're gonna pick our contours now. Very good. These are all closed. So they're all, uh, they connect the start point to the end point. If you just look at closed chains being that way, our heights, we're going to select our bottom face here. We want it to go a little bit past that as well. Let's just go past to 25 thou and our passes. So we can repeat our finishing pass if we want. Right now we are on a climb milling path, a left uh, path, but we could also go conventional milling if we wanted. We're not gonna leave any stock. We, can, we don't need any roughing passes. Uh, we don't need to go to multiple depths, but you can change all of that as well. Let's go okay. There we go. So let's just simulate that. Perfect. Excellent. Now you may have noticed that our tool starts right here. Well, maybe we don't want it to start right there. Have you ever wondered where you, how you can force the tool to start at a certain point? Let's right click, let's go edit, linking. We have a preferred lead in position. So did you notice it's starting right here on that corner? Sometimes Fusion starts in the middle of a surface that shouldn't have any machining marks on it. So in this case, it's, it is starting at a good position, but let's say we want it starting over here. So let's go edit, back to linking, preferred lead in. Let's just pick any point. We can pick any point on our whole model, but why don't we just pick that? Now look at our tool. It's starting right there, exactly where we want it to start. Perfect, let's finish off our first setup. So click on the top right of your screen to watch the next tutorial. See you then.